Hey everybody, welcome to Harry's Buddies at Audubon. We're coming to you from Audubon Nature Institute in New Orleans, Louisiana. That's right. I'm Zach. And I'm Jamie. And we love Harry's big adventure. We love Harry, we love his pals. And so, we're excited to introduce you to even more bugs. Buddies of Harry's that are awesome. Let's check out what we've got today. Hey Zach, what's the matter? Oh, you know, the usual. I have this wonderful collection of spiders with amazing colors and cool shapes and really fascinating ways of living. But I got to thinking about how many people just don't like spiders. Hey, cheer up. We have an audience out there that might like to know just what's so great about spiders. All right, well, you know, silk is just this unbelievable substance mm -hmm. that spiders make. Yeah. And golden silk spiders often make mm -hmm. shiny silk. I mean, yep. with a name like that, you'd have guessed they do. Mm -hmm. But they're also mm -hmm. big and colorful. Mm -hmm. And they have these cute fuzzy hairs mm -hmm. on their legs. And whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, buddy. You can't just launch into everything you love about spiders. Remember, we're trying to introduce people to these animals and pay special attention to the misguided folks who don't already know that spiders are the bomb diggity. Well, that's what the kids say. Uh -huh. Okay, good point. Uh, let me start over. First, nearly all the world's spiders have venom. This is poison that is used to kill insects and other animals that spiders eat. But only a tiny percentage of spiders have venom that can hurt people. You'd spend your time better worrying about tripping down a set of stairs than worrying about getting a spider bite. True, and spiders aren't like mosquitoes or fleas. They have no interest in biting us. They don't feed on people. They feed on other bugs, like you said. That also means that spiders eat a variety of insects, including the ones we consider pests. So here's the tricky thing. Spiders are overall good to have around because they frequently eat roaches and mosquitoes. But you may have too many spiders living in your home. And well, if it's too many, or you may have found one of the uncommon spiders that is actually dangerous to people living in your house. So let's just say, if you have an actual spider problem, rare as those might be, you should call Terminix. Those folks know how to handle things like that. But if you like spiders, keep watching. If you've checked out Harry's Big Adventure online, you may know about Esteban the Tarantula. Well, I brought a relative of his, another tarantula, for us to check out here today. Hey, a Tucson blonde, I love these. Me too, and I'll pick her up in a second. But first, I know a lot of you will hear what I just said and ask, is he crazy? Not if they already know you, they won't. Well, I might be crazy, but it's not because I'm about to pick up this spider. Yes, you're right. Spiders bite for the same reasons other animals usually bite. If they are hungry and need to eat, or if they're scared, and you're not spider food. And this species is known for being calm. All correct. Plus, the venom of most tarantulas is so mild that, like most spiders, I wouldn't even have to worry if I got bitten. But I'm not a daredevil who wants to brave the dangers of holding something that could hurt me. And that's why I know having this spider in my hand is no big deal. Hey, getting back to Harry's friend Esteban, he really seems into his hair. What's up with that? Glad you asked. Some people don't like what they call hairy spiders, but the truth is that all the world's spiders have hair. It's just easier to see on big spiders like tarantulas. I always found it odd that folks say they don't like hairy spiders, but they like kittens and puppies. I mean, those things are covered with hair. Yeah, but what's so special about spider hair? In the case of tarantulas, some species have certain hairs that they can flick off their abdomens at predators. These hairs have tiny barbs that instantly irritate the skin and make bigger animals back off instead of eating the spider. How about that? And you can add that spiders have hairs that help them sense the world around them by picking up vibrations, smells, tastes, and other hairs that help capture prey and others that are used when finding a mate. Go spider hair! And I'd cheer, but uh, I'll get back to you on that one. Now we know you're not likely to find a tarantula in your home, so we figured it would be good to show you spiders that seem to not only survive in places built by humans, but really thrive indoors. Two of the most common household spiders are cobweb weavers and cellar spiders. If you don't keep rooms clean, you're likely to have insects setting up shop. Then spiders may follow in order to eat the insects and then you'll see their webs because, oh yeah, the room isn't being cleaned. Then you might spot their messy, irregular webs. 
Cobweb weavers are small to medium bodied and short legged, but cellar spiders have medium sized bodies and really long legs. Oh, and by the way, both are completely harmless to people. Now, we did say earlier that it's possible to find a dangerous spider in your house. Recluses and widows are spiders you shouldn't handle. They aren't aggressive and bites from either are rare, but since they can cause serious health problems, why take a chance? Those widows sure are easy to recognize with their shiny black bodies and red markings on them. But the recluse, on the other hand... Now, I know what you're thinking. Maybe I've seen this one before. Well, there are a lot of brown spiders in the world, so to make sure you know you're looking at a recluse, you have to look closely enough to realize that they have no easy-to-see bands, stripes, spots, or wavy lines on them that are a different shade of brown. What they do have are thin legs and one dark mark on the top of their head. If it's magnified, that mark looks like a violin. Can we play the Itsy Bitsy Spider on that? I love that song! No, Ding Dong. That's but, my favorite. Uh, well, look, in that song, a spider climbs up a water spout, so I suppose it's outside. Why don't we end with a beautiful spider that you can see in gardens and open fields? Yeah, black and yellow garden spider. Exactly. I sure hope folks watching get to see one of these or another pretty spider during the warmer months of the year. That's when the bugs are out, even the bugs that eat other bugs. Go spiders! What can we say? They're just so cool.